how I will change the question. So any question you can solve this type. I hope the as long as A and B are integers. If A and B are natural numbers, only it will be number of factors. It will not be 2 into number of factors. It will not be 2 into number of factors. Why? Because in an integer only, plus into plus C is plus, minus into minus C is plus. If it is a natural number, only one case we will get that is plus into plus. I hope the idea it is clear. If I have to make it little complex for you, I can write the how many values 1 by root x plus 1 by root y equivalent to 1 by root 20. Now if you see here, x and y cannot be take 0 and x and y should take positive values should take positive values. How to solve this kind of questions? I will just give an idea. In Till now we did a variable. Now I kept an under root in that variable. Method 1. Then probably direct equation you will get it. Method 1. Now see here. 1 by root y equivalent to 1 by root 20 minus 1 by root x. I can write like this. Squaring 1 by root y, I will square it in the next term. It is nothing but root x minus root 20 divided by root of 20x. Now squaring on both sides. If I square on both the sides, squaring on both the sides. If I square it, answer is nothing but 1 by y, a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab divided by 20x. This is nothing but 1 by y equivalent to x plus 20. 20 is 4 into 5. So, this is nothing but root 4 is 2. So, 4 root of 5x divided by 20x divided by 20x. Now, see here. This is an integer integer this should be an integer if it is an integer under root 1 5 is there so another 5 should be there and it should be square x is nothing but 5a square x is nothing but 5a square now similarly instead of y if i keep x this will be y y is nothing but 5b square y is nothing but 5b square. I hope it is clear. This is an integer, integer, integer. Under root of 5x, one 5 is there inside. So, another 5 should come. Because it is an integer, under root it should be a perfect square. x is 5a square, y is 5b square. x is 5a square, y is 5b square. So, if I write it, it is nothing but under root 5a square, under root 5b square equivalent to 1 by 2 root 5. Root 5, root 5 cancel. It is nothing but 1 by A plus 1 by B equivalent to 1 by 2. 1 by A plus 1 by B equivalent to 1 by 2. Idea clear, right? Don't do anything, sir. Root 20, it is nothing but 2 root 5. Remove this third and just write down the equation as 1 by A plus 1 by B equivalent to 1 by 2. Only Ensure that you don't do any calculation mistake. Suppose a we got 3. a we got minus 3. What is x value? 5 a square. 5 into 3 square is 45. 5 into minus 3 whole square is also 45. So a if you are getting same value with the positive and negative sign only take one value. I hope the idea it is clear. 1 by a plus 1 by b equivalent to 1 by 2. Let us let me solve that for one question. Then it will be easy for the next questions. 1 by root x plus 1 by root y equivalent to 1 by root 20. It is nothing but 1 by a plus 1 by b equivalent to 1 by 2. Root 20 is 4 into 5 which is 2 root 5. I removed third. So this is nothing but x minus ac y minus bc a into b into c square. Are you all with me? 1 into 1 into 4. So, this is nothing but 4. 4 is a smaller value. So, it is 1 into 4. Next, it is 2 into 2. Next, it is minus 1 into minus 4. Next, it is minus 2 into minus 2. 
minus 2 into minus 2. I hope the idea it is clear. Now see here. Now 1 into 1 into 4. 4 can be written as 1 into 4. Now this can also be written as 4 into 1 and it is minus 4 into minus 1. 2 square is nothing but 2 into number of factors. 2 into 3 it is nothing but 6. A minus 2. If A minus 2 is minus 2, A value will be 0. This case we have we should not take. B minus 2 is minus 2. B value is 0. B0. Zero. A0. Zero, B0. Zero. This case we cannot take. This case we cannot take. Suppose A minus 2 it is 1. A value will be 3. B minus 2 it is 4. B value will be 6. So A value can be reverse also 6 and 3. Next one. So this case over. This case. A minus 2 is 2. A value it is 4. B minus 2 is 2. B value it is 4. Okay. This is the case. Next one. Minus 1 into minus 4. A value will be 2 minus 1. 1. B value will be minus 2. B value will be minus 2. A value will be A minus 2 is minus 4. So it is minus 2 or 1. So check it out whether plus 1 minus 1 it is getting. If you are not getting then you are. So what is x value? x is nothing but 5a square, y is nothing but 5b square. So 1 is 3 square, 9 fives are 45, 36 fives are 150. One case, reverse case. Next is 80, 80, one case. Next is 5 and 20, 20 and 5. So answer for this question is 4 cases. In case if you are getting a as a plus 3, a as minus 3. What we are not interested in finding the values of a. We are interested in finding the values of x. 5 into 3 square, 5 into minus 3 square. That will give us same value for x. Be careful. I hope the idea it is clear. Even if the question is of the form 1 by root x plus 1 by root y equivalent to 1 by root 20. Directly root 20 it is 2 root 5. Eliminate the third and write down. Eliminate the third and write down. So in the mock question, in one of the mock question, the question is like this. Many students thought that this question is a very difficult question. It is 1 by root 63. So directly you can write it as, once you know the logic, then these are all easy questions. It is 1 by 3 root 7. Root 7, if I eliminate it, it is nothing but 1 by a plus 1 by b equal to 1 by 3. So it is a minus 3 into b minus 3. This also you don't need to write it. 1 into 1 into 3 square. So 2 into 3. 2 into 3. 6 minus 1. What is that minus 1 case? Minus 3 and minus 3. A 0, B 0. A 0, B 0. X will be. So X is nothing but 7A square. Y is nothing but 7B square. I hope you understood why it is 7A square and 7B square. 6 minus 1. Answer is nothing but 5 values. Very easy. Once you know the logic, it is very easy. So not only how to solve the equations which are of the form A and B could be positive, A and B could be negative also. Answer will not change. I hope the idea it is clear. Clear idea? Now, a minus 3 into b minus 3. 2 into 3 minus 1. 2 into number of factors. Why? Because it is an integer. Minus 1. Denominator cannot take 0. Right? This model, it is also clear. So, suppose if the question is 2 by x minus 5 by y equivalent to 1 by 10. What will be the answer? x minus ac. y minus bc equivalent to a into b into c square. So, this is nothing but minus 10 cube. So, it is minus 2 cube into 5 cube. 4 into 4, 16 into 2 minus 1. Directly within 5 to 10 seconds, you will get the answer for the highly repeated problem if you have listened to this class. I hope the idea it is clear. A by x plus b by y equivalent to 1 by c. This question is based on integral solution. This question is based on factors. This question is based on LCM and HCF. 
This question is based on factorial is given how to determine the number of factors. This question is based on prime numbers. Each and every question one one different model which we will discuss. Another question. This question is based on the Venn diagrams. This question is based on Venn diagrams. This question is based on Venn diagrams. For a three set Venn diagram. For a three set Venn diagram. Now see here. For example, if it is two sets are there, one set, another set. Totally how many regions we got? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Outside it is one region. Inside only A is one region. Only B is another region. And the common region it is 3. Two sets I got 4 regions. So 4 is nothing but 2 square. Similarly, three sets. Three sets it will be. 1, 2, 3. Totally 8 regions I should get it. 8 regions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Outside it is 8. Please write down in your notes. If there are n sets, if there are n sets, what will be the total number of regions? Total number of regions will be 2 power n. If there are n sets, number of regions will be 2 power n. If there are n sets, Total number of regions will be n sets. I hope the idea it is clear. Now first we will solve this question. Then we will go ahead for the 4 set Venn diagram. The question can also be for a 4 sets. How many numbers from 1 to 1000 are divisible by 2? Okay. Not neither divisible by 3 nor by 7. This is the circle which represents n of 2 n of 3, n of 7. All the problems under this set we will discuss. All the problems. These are nothing but n of 2. These are nothing but n of 3. Right? Are only divisible, sir. Only is missing. These are nothing but n of 7. Now, listen carefully, sir. This region, it is nothing but numbers which are divisible by 2, 3 and 7, which is nothing but 6 and 7, 42. How many numbers are divisible by 42 from, let us take, from 1 to 100 we will take. Let us make it a little simple question. How many numbers are divisible by 42 from 1 to 100? It is nothing but 2. So first fill that value. This is nothing but 2. This is nothing but 2. This entire circle it is nothing but n of 2 and 3. 2 and 3, it is nothing but 6. How many are divisible by 6 from 1 to 100? 6 16s are 96. 6 17s are 102. 16, out of which 2 is already present. So it is 14. I hope it is clear. This entire region, it is nothing but the numbers which are divisible by 2 and 7. 2 and 7, it is nothing but 14. How many are divisible by 14 till 100? 14 7s are 98. 14 8s are 112. So, 7 times. Already 2 is there. So, this is nothing but 5. How many numbers are divisible by 2 from 1 to 100? 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 3s are 6. 2 50s are 100. Total, it is 50. 14 plus 2 16. 16 plus 5 21. So, this is nothing but 29. For this question, the answer is nothing but 29. It is a 3 sets. N of 2, N of 3, N of 7. I require only this region. Only divisible by 2. I require this region. Only divisible by 2. But neither by 3 nor by 7. This region I require. So, from total circle, right, I remove the all the remaining. Similarly, we will do it for 3 also. Now see here. So, if it is only divisible by n of 3. n of 3 is nothing but how many multiples of 3 are there till 100? 33. So, how many are divisible by 3 and 7? 3 and 7, it is nothing but 21. 21, it is nothing but 21 4s are 84, 21 5s are 105. So, this is nothing but 4. So, if it is 4, remaining 2. 4 plus 
14, 18, D is nothing but 15. Similarly, N of 7, N of 7 will be 7, 14 is 98. Total it is 14. 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. 9 means remaining it is nothing but 5. Remaining it is nothing but 5. I hope the idea it is clear. I hope the idea it is clear. Is the idea clear? Right. How many numbers from 1 to 100 are only divisible by 2 but neither by 7 nor by 3. So just draw the circles n of 2, n of 3, n of 7. First start with this region and then slowly proceed. Once you fill this region, this value you will come to know. So total minus this. So this is nothing but this value. If you know this total minus this, I will get this value. Very, very good question. Venn diagram questions are the high frequency questions that are coming in your examination. Venn diagrams. I hope the idea it is clear. Similarly, you can extend it to 1000. This is one way. Sir, what if instead of it is only divisible by 2, 3 or 7, it is 3 sets. What if it is 4 sets? Now see here. What if it is 4 sets? Now listen carefully. First thing, first we will draw the diagram for 4 sets. First we will draw the diagram for 4 sets. Then we will draw the condensed diagram. Very, very important sir. Condensed diagram. First we will understand how to draw the diagram for 4 sets. 4 sets, 2 circles horizontally, 2 circles vertically. 2 circles vertically, 2 horizontally, 2 vertically if I do, this is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, outside 22, totally how many we got? Total 22 regions we got. 22 regions we got. According to our concept, if there are 4 sets, how many regions we should get? 16 regions we should get. 16 regions we should get. That means 6 more regions we should duplicate it. If it is A, these B, these C, these D. Think logically. These nothing but only A. These also nothing but only A. Are you all with me? These is nothing but only B. These is also nothing but only B. These is nothing but only C. Down also it is nothing but only C. These is nothing but only D. These is also nothing but only D. So here these is duplicated with this. Here it is duplicated. These two duplicated. These two duplicated. So one is a mirror image of E and B. Another is a water image of C and D. So that is the reason we got. So if I am keeping this, I will not keep this. If I am keeping this, I will not keep this. So totally here 3 I will remove. Here 3 I will remove. 3 plus 3 6. That also this is nothing but A and B. Here also it is A and B. 6 regions I will remove. So what I will do is listen carefully sir. Listen carefully. So what am I doing is I am removing this 3 and I am removing this 3. So left side 3 I am removing bottom. You can also remove any of this. Keep one side and remove the other side. Now the diagram is draw a line. See here. This is one semicircle. If this is a line. This is an another semicircle. Draw two semicircle. One semicircle. Another semicircle. Another semicircle. Next one. There is a semicircle like this. Can you observe? This is also an another semicircle. This is one semicircle and it is another semicircle. Now all the questions will be easy for you. Once you draw the diagram, then the questions will be easy for you. What I did, I eliminated a left side and I eliminated bottom. You can check the regions. Let us do one by one all the regions. Then it is filling only. This is nothing but only D. This is nothing but only C. These is nothing but only A. These is nothing but only B. These is nothing but A and B. A and B. 
thee is nothing but it is a part of d it is also a part of e thee is a part of d thee is a part of a thee is also a part of b thee is a part of d thee is also a part of b thee is a part of d thee is a part of c and thee is also a part of b i hope you are all there with me thee is a part of d thee is a part of c thee is a part of a and it is a part of b thee is a part of c thee is a part of a thee is a part of c it is also a part of a and b thee is a part of c thee is also a part of b all that regions 1 2 3 4 5 6 thee is nothing but c d e 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 there is one more regions that we the outside outside if you see 1 2 3 4 4 these are nothing but 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 outside one 16 regions extremely important right after you understand it draw the diagram on your own and list it only if you can draw the diagram on your own then it is all about just substituting the values these are nothing but c and d total 16 regions are there first important key point if there are n sets there will be 2 power n regions so if there are four sets 2 power 4 is nothing but 16 regions will be present so how to draw the diagram it is clear right first i have drawn two circles horizontally true circles vertically then i realized that there are lot of duplicates i eliminated the duplicates then i listed this one once you understand these four diagrams then it will be extremely easy i hope the idea it is clear now the same thing can also be done like this now see here suppose if n is 2 cube into 3 square into 5 power 1 n is given number has got prime bases 2 3 and 5 how many how many natural numbers less than or equivalent to 360 360 are first question divisible by divisible by each and every question right after the class is there right upload it so the, watch it repeat it once it is uploaded watch it repeat it make a note of important key points it is not the problems it is in every problem how am i explaining the concept how you should look at a problem that is important divisible by 2 3 please write down all these questions but not by 5 divisible by 2 5 divisible by 2 5 but not by 3 but not by 3 divisible by 3 5 divisible by 3 5 but not by 2 another question but not by 2 not divisible by 2 3 5 not divisible by 2 3 5 how to solve this kind of questions without even using venn diagrams how to solve it without even using venn diagrams there is a natural number that is given 2 cube into 3 square into 5 power 1 how many natural numbers less than or equivalent to 360 are divisible by 2 3 5 the number is 360 360 only is represented as a power of prime bases all right all 360 numbers for every two consecutive numbers for every two consecutive numbers one number is definitely divisible 360 into 1 by 2 180 i took all the even numbers because the first it should be divisible by 2 for every three consecutive numbers one number is divisible by 3 one number it is divisible by 3 so after taking an even numbers i took the numbers which are divisible by 3 for every five consecutive numbers one number is divisible by 5 one number is divisible by 5 360 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 into 1 by 5 for every two consecutive one number it should be divisible for every three consecutive one number it should be divisible for every five consecutive one number it should be divisible answer is nothing but 12 30 12s are 360 
idea is clear no need of drawing any venn diagram even if you draw venn diagram 235 is that intersection of all this the number which is divisible by 23 and 5 are the numbers which are divisible by 30 how many numbers are multiples of 30 till 360 12 numbers are there idea clear next one how many numbers are divisible by 2 so 360 into out of two numbers one number it is divisible out of three numbers one number it is divisible out of five numbers one number it will divide question is but not out of five numbers one number it is dividing how many numbers it is not dividing four similarly it is 360 into out of every two numbers one number it will divide out of every five numbers one number it will divide out of every three numbers one number it will divide it is nothing but 2 by 3 i hope you got an idea either use the generic statement and the converse of their statement how many numbers are divisible by 3 out of every three numbers one number it is divisible out of every five one number it is divisible out of every two one number it will be divisible not divisible is 1 by 2 not divisible by 2 3 5 so out of two numbers one number it is divisible one number not divisible out of three numbers one number it is divisible two are not divisible out of five numbers one number it is divisible how many are not divisible four so these are nothing but 30 30 12 are 12 eights are 96 12 eights are 96 these are nothing but 15 12 15 twos are 30. It is nothing but 12. Calculate the other. This is nothing but 30 twos are 24. This is nothing but 48. I hope the idea it is clear. In a lot of cases, you can avoid using Venn diagram if you know this concept of how to do the numbers based on the set of consecutive natural numbers. The idea behind this question is. in a set of 3 consecutive one number it will be divisible two are not divisible in a set of five consecutive take any five consecutive number that comes into your mind 17 18 19 20 21 one number 20 is divisible by 5 how many are not divisible four are not divisible please understand this question i hope you have understood how to solve the finding out the number of natural numbers without even using venn diagram concept if you enjoy this content click on a like button right i hope you enjoyed this very good way of solving the question